to Train Me Tech TV. Today I'm going to be talking about um, setting up the basic LGB uh, um, power supply and controller and then using the LGB50160 to connect it, it to show that um, this little Stein's locomotive operational. So the first thing I'm going to do is take our, our track connector, and I have one that's already at hand here, oh, opened. I'm going to go ahead and connect this to the track. And theoretically, um, this should be done already in some cases. And this applies to um, the start uh, the start set or any of the uh, locomotives or little uh, train tracks that you're setting up around your uh, Christmas tree, maybe. So these are just, they kind of clip underneath the tracks. One lead uh, goes underneath the track and to the one side, and then the other to the other side. And you just have to, once... Um, once you clip them under there, you just screw the little screw down by hand and, um, and tighten them, tighten it all up. Probably can't see that particularly well, so I'm going to do this. So I have the track connectors connected and you have a couple of wires coming off of it. go ahead and put that locomotive back on the track. So the 51099 is simply your handheld controller. Comes with some directions. The controller is usually wrapped in a little bit of um, plastic wrap. Very simple. This replaces the older style, which is an all-in-one unit. And then you have the power supply, the 66367 power supply unit. And it too comes with some directions. And this is just the power, trans uh, power supply unit. It's a transformer. So the first thing we can do, and it doesn't matter the order, is on top of the power supply, there is a red and a blue push connector. The wire should already be slipped or uh, stripped. So the blue wire, just push that down. The blue wire pushes into that, and the red wire pushes into it as well. So, and then you should be able to pull that and it won't pull, go anywhere. The next part is using your power supply. You simply can plug it in to your transformer. And then on the controller, there's a little input uh, marked that just simply plugs in. And then your train works. Now this is just pure analog. It allows your train just to go back and forth or around in a circle or however you have it going and based off of that speed. And that's it. Pretty simple and straightforward. Thank you for watching Train Lead Tech TV and I am Christine McNary.